Well, Vice President-elect Mike Pence is on Capitol Hill today for meetings with congressional leaders on both sides of the aisle. This on top of his busy schedule as head of Mr. Trump's transition team. And now, after what can only be described as an unconventional election season, what kind of vice president will Mike Pence be? Shannon Bream is live in Washington taking a look at this for us. Shannon? Hi, Jenna. Well, today, Pence says he is looking forward to working with lawmakers on Capitol Hill, where you'll remember he once served as a member of the House. We caught up with him on the Hill just moments ago. Very humbling to be back uh, among my former colleagues. We're excited about moving the Trump agenda forward in the coming Congress, and I'm just so grateful. He is already very hands-on, as we've been seeing through his role with the transition team, meaning he is leading the charge to put together cabinet possibilities and other top Trump administration key players. For many, the Trump-Pence pairing was a jarring contrast in their two backgrounds and demeanors, but we know it worked well on the campaign trail. Lee Edwards of the Heritage Foundation says Pence's introduction to America during the vice presidential debate illustrates how he will help to govern. Knows the issues, is able to articulate them uh, without going on and on and on. So I think all in all, he showed us and showed the American people just what kind of vice president and clearly uh, uh, Mr. Trump liked what he saw very much and, and gave him increasing and has now given him really extensive authority with the transition. The power of the vice presidential rose grown steadily in recent decades from LBJ, who analysts say really didn't start out having much power under President Kennedy, primarily attending funerals and other diplomatic events, to Dick Cheney, who was actually criticized, as we know many times, as being too much of a voice in the Bush 43 administration. As for Pence, he comes in as one of the most politically experienced vice presidents some say we've ever had. A former congressman where he wound up in a leadership role, now serving as a governor, and he's uh, got a pretty unique resume in that it also includes a law degree and a stint as a radio talk show host. Uh, we understand Trump will lean on him heavily as a bridge to Capitol Hill, which he'll need to do to get his agenda moving. Jenna. We'll be watching. Shannon, thank you.